Alright guys, welcome back to Game Premier and it looks like uh, we do have another package that we need to unbox, okay? But if, before that, I would like to uh, check first some of the things that we bought uh, from the previous months and I came here to tell you guys that um, about the review of those devices. So. Uh, one of those are this this one right here okay it's a a noise reduction bluetooth capable only for iphone so it works better now actually uh, it's way better than uh, just using the cell phone so directly i can use this without any uh, sound other sounds sur from surroundings like my fan at the back and the noise outside maybe the rooster outside the back because uh, there's a there's like a, a a rooster or an open field at the back of our house and um, what's 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 next oh yeah uh, this headset right here I use this for my gaming since uh, last month or two months ago and this one doesn't bring us any problem so guys try this one a GP20 I hope it will last but you know if I would like to check the durability of a device I ask my daughter to use it you know even a Xbox controller, a PlayStation 5 controller, she always beat up those devices and end up with a ghost movement. Fortunately for the headset or this GP20, so it lasted. It doesn't have any issue. I let her use it for or while traveling. So no issue, no rip or no wires that came out bluetooth is working the noise reduction i think it's still working and the whole physical headset because it's a ragged design and of course the letter is not really a letter it's just a uh, synthetic one and there's no issue so try that try the gp20 i recommend this to everyone and then uh, before we un uh, unpack the or unpack the the package, I just want to ask if um, Nintendo is coming out with the new console, Switch Two, or uh, the new the new Switch or 4DS, right? Uh, I came across in the mall and checked the handouts which reminds me that I think it's a long overdue for the Nintendo and the Nintendo fans out there shout out to you guys I think we've been waiting uh, long enough at least uh, next year we'll uh, see a new device from Nintendo so I've been uh, hearing some uh, manufacturing news that uh, they're already setting up for Nintendo I hope so okay by the way guys I already sold the version 1 my switch version 1 this one on the picture is just the version 2 this is the OL OLED and then the switch Lite. the reason why I sell the version 1 is because uh, the speaker has an issue I know I know uh, I have a speaker replacement easy to do that but I think it could be a board issue it's, it's I can feel despite of the the ghost movement I can feel that the system is getting slow it's getting hot very often and then uh, my my uh, my daughter again she's been stress test that 
for so many years and I think my unit just bended it's almost on a um, slight bend uh, I'll show you uh, maybe like that like this bend so I immediately sold that thing but it's not the uh, end of the road for switch we still have the Nintendo switch Lite, and of course it's been doing great as our single switch in the house where in other words we are sharing so she now is still playing Pokemon um, the latest one Scarlet purple I think blue whatever and then I'm still playing uh, what fire emblem fire emblem uh, three houses almost finish then I'm moving on to uh, engage okay so yeah if you want to see this one this because it's been a while and I haven't seen a magazine or unless this is free so I grabbed it and then let's just check quick browse on this so this this voucher or brochure is trying to encourage you to buy or which one is suitable for your family and for yourself so I would recommend either you wait for the next gen or the switch OLED because the version 2 is just a um, uh, a slight improvement from version 1 although double or triple the, the speed I think you will still have an issue with that so if you have a chance or just you know add just a bit of budget just go with OLED but for me if you ask me a part-time dad part-time gamer I am happy with the net switch light because um, every position sitting down laying down in the bed in the couch it's lighter more comfortable in terms of weight because if you are using the the two design the OLED and the version 2 it has a, a weight that if you are playing for let's say 45 minutes it's really I mean you can feel the weight in your arms in your wrist which make makes make you uh, uncom un uncomfortable so if you are a RPG gamer go with the switch Lite. and if you are a graphics gamer more of graphics and visual so try the OLED okay so those are the two recommendation and of course we have the games people are been playing Zelda the new Zelda this is the old Zelda Odyssey I think they're, they're still uh, playing a switch I mean the Super Smash because my cell for a GameCube controller is still okay of course online Mario Kart tennis I don't think so oh yeah this, this is the game that we just purchased last week Scarlet and yep let's go and move on so guys uh, just stay tuned and we still have some Nintendo stuff and here we go All right so this one came today and we are going to cut it in real time let's just cut it right away cut it like a surgeon what do we have here let me just remove the plastic for you guys all right okay so it looks like we have 
more Nintendo stuff. So, Nintendo, if you're watching, please release the new generation. We've been waiting. But we're still happy with your Nintendo Switch. No problem with that. But you know, PlayStation, especially PlayStation, moving up beyond Xbox, like the Final Fantasy, wow, jaw-dropping graphics. And I hope Nintendo will consider competing with those calibers of gaming visuals, right? Okay, so here we go. So you see a gold one, probably a Zelda. If you're thinking Zelda, you will write. So which Zelda is it? Is it the one? Is it the two? But before that, let's, okay, yeah, it's, it's there. You can see it. one is packed, really packed with plastic. Okay, so before we open that, I have this um, Nintendo device. Of course, you know, we all know Nintendo has some weird stuff like this one. Wireless infrared stereo headphone system. I don't have the headphones, but this came as a freebies from him, from the seller. So thanks to, thanks for the extra. Okay, just gonna cut it right there. Wow, he packed he packed this thing real good. Okay, we're just gonna open this. I saw this because I have the the Zelda two. Which is a which is just an ordinary uh, gray one. I don't know if this one is better than this, so I'm just, I'm just gonna check that out. And whatever is uh, more valuable, I will keep it, and then I'll sell the other one. Right? It's always nice to have the old school cover like the Nintendo brand all in the front right there okay so I'm just gonna check this out first if this one is working I have a better uh, NES speaking of NES uh, we have a NES here in the box the old the, the first NES that has more issue than uh, than ever <laughs> okay so um, of course we have the Super Nintendo. This is really a full packing. He likes more plastic though. Okay, so checking out this batch number six because uh, batch number five is on display right now. So this is when it's the sixth Super Nintendo that I will sell. Maybe in the future I will keep one, but for now we keep on selling. Okay, so it looks like this one has a clean. I always check inside the rust. If those pins are still in gold, that's good. And then uh, if you look at the bottom, you'll see if someone just tampered it or opened the thing. And it looks like no one opened this yet yeah. okay so yep that is cool we're all good and moving on we got this problematic old school I'm gonna sit down I'm just gonna sit down here we go The 
way he packs it, the way he packs the console, he doesn't want to show me or show us. But we're getting there. Okay, finally we got it. Okay, let's check at the back first. You'll see if there's any corrosion. Yeah, that's the word corrosion. You look for any signs of corrosion because it always starts with a small screw like this. If you see this one, you'll start to hope or ask hope that it doesn't go up up to or into the console itself so we're just gonna open it check it there is a stainless inside you can also check that one for stain <laughs> stainless with a stain okay and it looks like um, it looks like it's workable and probably the the issue on this will be the reading of the reading of the the game itself. This particular design, I call it the Betamox. You know, before VHS, they have this Betamox, and this bulky design. It looks. Uh, huge humongous it always uh, looks a base everywhere you put it. it looks like you have to put something on the top but guess what you have to open that and the plastic thing will go on the top so probably you'll use this as a base but it, it will be after this window right here anyways I moved on from this problematic uh, console uh, I hope I can fix it and then uh, you know just flip it make a uh, profit right away and as long as you clean this this is this one is good and you also have a good patience but without the patience this thing you will especially our generation now our kids those uh, kids now has less patience in terms of opening a game they used to have or they got used to a instant program like just one click and you'll have it but for us the older generation we have to blow this cartridge and hope that it will work with one attempt which always ends up uh, eight or ten times before you can play right and then you you'll remember someday or on the next day that you do hope that the game or the cartridge will work for your day two of gaming that's our generation back then okay so um yep i moved on with this one right here i'm not gonna sell this unit because this will be my tester for all the cartridge that will come in game premier store this will be the tester before i've been using this and of course they sometimes the buyer will tell you that the cartridge is not working and then it will end up giving you a low rating but the truth is their their unit is also on on the faulty side so anyway guys anyways uh, that's all I got and I'm just gonna check this one if I can do something about it but for now it's a good display anything with that logo 
for Nintendo fanboys out there. <laughs> right? Okay, so guys, uh, catch me again on the next video. Thank you. I'll do some tests tonight. And uh, you have a great weekend. Everything should be fine. Happy gaming. I'm currently playing uh, Fire Emblem, as I mentioned, on Switch. And then PlayStation, Final Fantasy 16 on Xbox. Well, a little bit of Halo and Mass Effect as I continue with my backlog. Okay, so guys, that's almost done. We just have half an hour and I'll try to probably edit some of some part of this video to make it a little shorter but guys thank you for hanging out and again i'll uh, catch you on the next one see you guys if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to gamepreneur and this is cox camon ford signing out abuhai have a good day